we are done discussing about arithmetic sequences and we are now going on to our next type of sequence which is called a geometric sequence and what better way to start a discussion about a new lesson than to differentiate it from the previous lesson so that is our objective for this video we are going to differentiate a geometric sequence from an arithmetic sequence let us first define what a geometric sequence is. So a geometric sequence is a sequence in which a term is obtained by multiplying the preceding term by a constant called common ratio. So what are the things here that are different from our definition of an arithmetic sequence? Firstly, in arithmetic sequences, we obtain the next terms by adding this particular case. We are now multiplying. What do we add in arithmetic sequences to get the next terms? We add a constant called common difference. This time around, we are going to multiply a constant called common ratio. So in this particular sequence right here, we have 1, 2, 4, 8, 16. So let us generate the pattern. So from 1 to get to 2, there are two things that we can do. We can add 1 or multiply by 2. But considering that the third term of this sequence is 4, I think the, the latter um pattern is what is better for us to use so we are going to multiply this by 2 also from 2 to 4 we multiply by 2 from 4 to 8 we multiply by 2 and from 8 to 16 we multiply by 2 what if we want to get the next two terms of the sequence so what are we going to do so we just extend the multiplying pattern. The pattern is multiplied by 2. So to get the next two terms from the last term, 16, we multiply by 2. So 16 multiplied by 2, that is going to be 32. And then multiply by 2, that is going to be 64. What is, uh, What are other differences? um between arithmetic sequences and geometric sequences let's have an arithmetic sequence written here so for example let's have one two five one two no it should be three four and 5. What is the pattern that we generated here? So the pattern is add 1, add 1, add 1, add 1. How do we get 1 from our terms if we want to get the common difference? So to get the common difference, we should subtract any two consecutive terms. So we have a sub 2. 2 minus a sub 1, 1. So d is equal to 1. And this is true for any pair of consecutive terms. So you just choose any term and then subtract the preceding term and you get the common difference 1. Let's say for instance, I take 3. I subtract the preceding term 2. I get 1. If I take... 4, I subtract the preceding term 3, I get 1. If I take 5 and subtract the preceding term 4, I get 1. So, if in arithmetic sequences, we have adding patterns, and to get the constant, which is called common difference, we subtract any two consecutive terms, how do we get the common ratio? Let us delete this. So if the pattern is multiplying and we want to get the common ratio 
What we want to do now is to divide any two consecutive terms. That is the difference between a common difference and a common ratio. So for common difference, you subtract any two consecutive terms. Customarily, that's a sub 2 minus a sub 1. For common ratio, let's use a different pen color. We divide any two consecutive terms. That is um, one of the fundamental differences between arithmetic sequences and geometric sequences. Let us try this on this on this sequence right here. So we take, for example, 2, divide it by the preceding term, 1. Let us mark so we can be sure that we are correct. Let's take 2, divide it by the preceding term, 1. 2 over 1 is 2. If we take 4 and divide it by the preceding term, 2, 4 divided by 2, we get 2. Let's take another one. Um, let's say we take um, 16. Divide it by the preceding term, 8. So 16 divided by 8, we also get 2. So it is true for all pairs of consecutive terms. So you divide any two consecutive terms and you get the common ratio. Let us have our first example for this lesson. Example number one, determine if the sequence 3, 8, 13, 18, 23 is arithmetic or geometric. So how do we do that? We basically just identify if it has a common difference or a common ratio. So if it has a common difference, then the sequence is arithmetic. If it has a common ratio, then the sequence is geometric. Let us generate its pattern so we can identify what kind of pattern it has. Does it have uh, an adding pattern or a multiplying pattern? So we have here 3, 8, 13, 18, and 23. What is the pattern that is being generated here? So to get 8 from 3, what did we do? We add 5. To get 13 from 8, what do we do? We add 5. To get 18 from 13, we add 5. And to get 23 from 18, we add 5. So therefore, what do we have here? We have a common difference D. Therefore, the sequence is arithmetic. Let us have our second example. Determine if the sequence negative 20, 10, negative 5, 5 halves is arithmetic or geometric. Again, if it has a common difference, then it is arithmetic. If it has a common ratio, then it is geometric. Or if it has an adding pattern, it is arithmetic. And if it has a geom if it has a multiplying pattern, then it is geometric. So let us take our um, take our sequence negative twenty. 10, negative 5, and then 5 halves. So, how do we get 10 from negative 20? What do we do? Um, we add 30. So, 30, negative 20 plus 30, that is positive 10. How do we get negative 5 from 10? What do we add to negative 5? Uh, what do we add to 10 to get negative 5? So we add um, negative 15. So negative 15 plus 10 or 10 plus negative 15, that's negative 5. Obviously, 
this is not a common quote unquote difference because we have a plus 30 here and we have a minus 15 or a negative 15. So therefore, the sequence is not arithmetic. Is it geometric? Let us check. Um, 20, negative 20. 10. Negative 5. Negative 5 halves. So what do we do to get 10 from negative 20? Sorry. Divide it by negative 2. So negative 20 divided by negative 2, that is positive 10. That's good. So how do we get negative 5 from 10? So we, mold, we divide it by negative 2. And then from uh, negative 5 to, sorry, this is not negative 5 halves. This is just 5 halves. What do we do? We divide it by negative 2. But actually, we are not dividing. We are multiplying. So this implies that we are really multiplying by negative 1 half. Multiply by negative 1 half and multiply by negative 1 half. Therefore, we were able to generate a multiplying pattern and we have our common ratio negative 1 half. If that is the case, then the sequence is geometric. The sequence... is geometric. Let's go to our third example. So we have to determine if the sequence 6, 12, 14, 28 is arithmetic or geometric. Again, if it has a common difference, it is arithmetic, or if it generates an adding pattern, if it has a common ratio, then it is geometric. If it generates a multiplying pattern, so we have to take our equation and generate, ah, sorry, take our sequence and generate the pattern. So we have 6, 12, 14, 28. Let us try to generate an adding pattern here. So what do we do to get 12 from 6? We add 6. What do we do to get 14 from 12? We add 2. Obviously, the difference is not common. Therefore, the sequence is not arithmetic. Let us try if this sequence is geometric. 6, 12, 14, 28. What do we do to get... 12 from 6, we multiply by 2. And then what do we do to get 14 from 12? What should we multiply to 14 to get 12? We multiply it by 1.16 repeating. So, obviously, the ratio is also not common so therefore the sequence is neither arithmetic nor geometric.